Joshua chapter 18, scouting the land further. Then the whole congregation of Benai Israel assembled at Shiloh and set up the tent of meeting there, for the land was now subdued before them. If there remained among Benai Israel seven tribes that still had not received their portions. So Joshua said to Benai Israel, How long will you be slack about going to possess the land in which Adonai, the God of our fathers, has given you? Appoint for yourselves three men from each tribe, and I will send them, and they will arise and walk through the land and describe it according to their inheritance and return to me. They are to divide it into seven portions. Judah will remain with its territory in the south, and the house of Joseph will remain within their territory to the north. After you have described the seven portions of the land, bring the description here to me, then I will cast lots for you here before Adonai our God. But the Levites have no portion among you, for the priesthood of Adonai is their inheritance. Also Gad, Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan eastward, which Moses, the servant of Adonai, gave them. So the men arose and went. And Joshua charged those who went to write descriptions of the land, saying, Go and walk through the land and describe it, then return to me, and I will cast lots for you here before Adonai and Shiloh. So the men went passing through the land and described it in a scroll, town by town, in seven parts. Then they came to Joshua at the camp at Shiloh. Then Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before Adonai, and there Joshua portioned the lands to Benai Israel according to their divisions, the inheritance of Benjamin. Now the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up for their clans. The territory of their allotment lay between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. Now their border on the north side was from the Jordan. The border went up from the south side of Jericho in the north and went up through the hill country westward and it ended at the wilderness of Bethaven. Then the border passed from there to Luz to the side of Luz, that is Bethel, southward. Next the border went down to Atrath Adar, near the mountain that lies to the south of the lower Betharon. On the west side from the hill, facing Betharon southward, the border curved, turning about southward, and then ended at Kiriath Baal, that is Kiriath Jerim, a town of the children of Judah. This was the west side. Then the south side was from the outskirts of Kiriath Jerim, then the border went westward, going to the springs of the waters of Nephtoah. Then the border went down to the foot of the mountain by the valley of Ben Hinnom, which is at the northern end of the valley of Rephaim. Then it went down to the valley of Hinnom, to the slope of the Jebusite southward, and went down to Enrogel. Then it curved north and went to En Shemesh and ran to Gelaloth opposite the ascent of Adaman and went down to the stone of Bohan, son of Reuben. Next it passed north northward to the slope facing the Araba of the Jordan Valley and went down to the Araba. Then the border passed along the south of Beth Hagla northward and the border ended at the northern bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of the Jordan. This was the southern border. The Jordan has to be the border on the east side. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin and its borders all around according to their clans. Now the towns of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their clans were Jericho, Beth Hagla, Emek Keziz, Beth Araba, Zemaraim, Bethel, Avem, Para, Ofra, Sephar Amona, Afni, and Geba, twelve towns of their villages. Gibeon, Rama, Birat, Mizpeh, Sephara, Maza, Rechem, Irbil, Tarala, Zela, Elaf, and Jebus, that is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kiriath, fourteen towns with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their clans. Joshua 19, portions for other tribes. Then the second lot came out for Simeon, for the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their clans. Now the portion was in the midst of the portion of the children of Judah. They had for their inheritance Beersheba, Ursheba, Molada, Hazar Shuol, Bilal, Ezrim, El Tolad, Bethel, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markabath, Hazar Susa, Beth Lebioth, and Sharahun. Thirteen towns of their villages, also Ain, Ramon, Ether, and Ashan, four towns of their villages. All the villages that were around these towns, as far as Baalath, Beer, Rama of the Negev, this is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their clans. The inheritance of the children of Simeon was taken out of the allotment of the children of Judah, for the portion of the children of Judah was too much for them, so the children of Simeon had inheritance with the within Judah's inheritance. Now the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun according to their clans. The territory of their inheritance was as far as Sarid. Their border went up westward to Maralam, then reached Dabasheth, and on the wadi along the Jokneam. It turned from Sarid eastward toward the sunrise to the border of Chesloth Tabor, then went on to Dobrath and up to Jaffia. 
From there, it went east to Gal Hefer, uh, to Ethkazin, and went to Rimon, where it curved to Nia. Then the border circled around on the north to Hanathon and in the valley of If Tael, Tael, included also were Katath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve towns of their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun according to their clans, these towns with their villages. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, for the children of Issachar according to their clans. Now their territory was Jezreel, including Jezreel, Shriam, Hafodayim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabith, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, Enganim, Enhada, and Beth. Pazes. The border extended to Tabor, Tabor, Shahazim, and Beth Shemesh, and ended at the Jordan, 16 towns of their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their clans, the towns of their villages. Then the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their clans. Their territory included Helkath, Hali, Baten, Akshaf, Akshaf, Alamelech, Amad, and Mishal. It extended to Carmel westward in Shehor Libna. Then it turned toward the sunrise to Beth Dagon, extended to Zebulun into the Iftahel Valley, Iftahel Valley, on the north toward Beth Emek and Neel. Then went unto Kabul on the north. Then Ebron, Urehab, Haman, and Kana up to the greater Sidon. Next, the border turned to Rama, then to for the fortified city of Tyre. Then the border turned to Hassan and into the sea of the region of Akzib. Also included were Uma, Afek, and Rehob, 22 towns of their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their clans, these towns of their villages. The sixth lot came out for the children of Naphtali. For the children of Naphtali, according to their clans, their border went from Helifa to Elan Baza Ananim, including Adam and Nikib, and Jabnil as far as Lakam, and ended with the Jordan. Then the border turned westward to Aznath the board and went on from there to Hukok. It touched Zebulun on the south, touched Asher on the west, and Judah at the Jordan toward the east. The fortified cities were Zidim Zer, Zamath, Rakath, Chinereth, Adama, Rama, Hazor, Kadesh, Idri, and Hazor, Iron, Migdalil, Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, 19 towns of their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their clans, the towns of their villages. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their clans, the territory of their their inheritance included Zora, Eshdeol, Irshemesh, Shalalabin, Ejalon, Ithla, Ilan, Timna, Ekran, Eltike, Jibrathan, Beelath, Jehud, Benimbarak, Gathrimon, and the waters of Jarkin and Rakan across the border opposite Joppa. The territory of the children of Dan slipped away from them, so the children of Dan went up and fought against Leshem and captured it and struck it with the edge of the sword possessed it and settled in it and called the Shem Dan after the name of the Dan, their ancestor. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their clans, these towns with their villages, when they had finished allotting the land for inheritance by its borders. But I, Israel, gave a portion of Joshua, so they ruined in their midst. According to the command of John and Adonai, they gave him the city that he requested, Timnath Sera, in the hill country of Ephraim, so he built up the city and lived in it. These are the portions with Eleazar the Kohen and Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the ancestral houses of the tribes of Benai Israel distributed for inheritance by the tent of meeting, so they finished apportioning the land. Joshua chapter 20, six cities of refuge. Then Adonai spoke to Joshua, saying, Speak to Benai Israel, saying, Designate your cities of refuge, about which I spoke to you through Moses. So the manslayer who kills any person by mistake and without premeditation may flee there. They will be a refuge from the avenger of blood. When one flees to one of those cities, he must stand at the entrance of the gate of the city and state his case in the hearing of the elders of that city. Then they are to take him to their city and give him a place to live among them. Now, if the blood avenger pursues him, then they will not hand the manslayer over to him, since he killed his neighbor and without premeditation and did not hate him beforehand. So he will stay in that city until he can stand trial before the congregation or until the death of the Kohen Gadol in those days. Then the manslayer may return to his own city and to his own house, to the city from which he had fled. 
So they set apart the Kadesh in the Galilee, in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem, and in the hill country of Ephraim, in Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the hill country of Judah, across the Jordan east of Jericho. They designated Bezer in the wilderness on the tableland from the tribe of Reuben, Ramath in Gilead from the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan from the tribe of Manasseh. These were the appointed cities for all Benai Israel and for the outsider who is dwelling among them, so that whoever kills any person unintentionally might flee there and not die by the hand of any blood avenger the blood avenger before standing trial before the congregation.